um, is this has given us this differential equation. Um, first thing I've noticed is that there's um, x terms here and t terms here. So I'm going to need to separate my variables. Um, I'm going to bring the t dt up to this side. So I'm going to need to move the sine x and the uh, tan x um, to the left hand side. And I'll move the minus, I'll move the negative as well. So we're going to have negative um, 1 over sine x, tan x, dx equals cot x, uh, sorry, cot t dt. Um, this we can rewrite as minus cosec x cot x dx and this I'm going to want to rewrite well we know that cot is uh, 1 over tan or the reciprocal of, of tan um, and since tan can be written as um, sine over cos that means that cot can be written as cos over sine. So I'm going to write this as cot t over sine t. And you'll see why in a minute. dt, of course. We're now going to attempt to integrate both sides. Now, fortunately, this part um, here is our answer to part 1, which tells us that when we want to integrate this, and that's why I put the minus... With, with the left hand side, not the right hand side. If we want to integrate this, the answer is just going to be cosec x. The right hand side, we can also integrate because if you differentiate the bottom, you get the top. So that tells me the um, integral of cot t is just the natural log of sine t. Because I've used the rule where if you differentiate the bottom and get the top, the answer is the natural log of the bottom. And, of course, I need a plus C. So that's already my general um, equation. I've already found the general equation. We want the particular value or the particular solution, um, the particular equation, for when x equals pi over 6 and t equals pi over 2. So I'm now going to substitute those two values in. x is going to be pi over 6. Now you might want to change this back into a 1 over sine because you're going to need to do the sine or the cosec of pi over 6. So if we're doing that with a number, I'd prefer to work in sine um, rather than cosec. So we've got 1 over the sine of pi over 6 equals the natural log of the sine of pi over 2 plus c. So what is the sine of pi over 6? I should know that one. Oh, I'm in degrees, not radians. Hang on a sec. It's just a half. We've got 1 over a half here, which is 2, and we've got the natural log of the sine of pi over 2. The sine of pi over 2 is, a, is, a, is 1, so we've got the natural log of 1, which is 0, so c is actually just 2. And therefore, my full equation, the particular equation that we're looking for in order to solve this question, is that cosec x equals the natural log of sine t plus 2.